Are you struggling to find a gift for that photographer in your life? In this episode, I'm going to give you 10 great Christmas stocking stuffers that are under $100. Are you in the Christmas giving mood but struggling to come up with a perfect gift for that special photographer in your life? Maybe they suffer from the same problem I do which means they have more camera gear than they need and as a result are a little difficult to buy for. Or maybe the problem is you don't know anything about photography and you're worried about spending a bunch of money on a paperweight they'll never use. Well, in this episode, I'm going to play Santa's Helper, and I will share with you 10 gifts that are under $100 and that any photographer will be thrilled to receive. I should explain that I only tried to select products that meet three criteria. A, they had to work with almost any camera. There are a lot of cameras on the market, and buying an accessory for the right model can be tough. So the first criteria was these gifts had to be something that anyone would be happy to receive, no matter what kind of camera they used. And in most cases, even if they change cameras, this would still be useful. Now, I came very close, and there are only a couple items on the list where you need, you know, you might need to uh, do a little bit of detective work on your part. B, they had to be practical and products I've owned or used. The second criteria were products that I can personally recommend. This is not the same lame clickbait list that you see on magazine websites. There's nothing worse than receiving a gift that's cute but has no real purpose. For example, a lot of gift recommendations are these uh, coffee cup mugs that look like camera lenses. They're, they're cute, but they're not practical, and they actually make lousy travel mugs. But they make a decent pencil holder or vase for flowers, but again, not very practical. And C, it had to be under $100 or extremely close. It was important to help you select items that wouldn't break the bank, but you know, would be a gift you could give somebody a friend or a stocking stuffer. It's difficult enough to find the right gift. It's even harder when you're on a tight budget. So I think these suggestions will cover both concerns. The list starts with item number 10 and is organized, in my opinion, by the order of usefulness. But any of these can be moved around on the list and would still be a great gift. The first item on the list is a cleaning sensor swabs from Photographic Solutions. Now, these swabs are used to remove dust spots from camera sensors that eventually plague every digital camera with interchangeable lenses. If the person uses a point and shoot or a camera without removable lenses, then you can probably skip this item. Before buying this item, you need to know one piece of information in order to choose the right size swabs. You need to find out if they use a camera with a full frame sensor or a crop sensor. The sterilized swabs come in three sizes, type three, type 2 and type 1, but don't worry about that. There's a link in the comments to a chart that will help you determine the correct sensor swab size. Now, Photographic Solutions makes a handy little kit they call their Digital Survival Kit. This kit includes everything they'll need to clean their lens, their filter, uh, or their sensor in the field. Now, I know many photographers are nervous about cleaning their own sensors and worry about scratching or ruining their camera. But anyone who is a serious amateur or making money as a photographer needs to know how to clean a dirty sensor. Photographic Solutions has videos and instructions on the process, which I'll give, leave a link to. But even if there's a photographer who prefers to have their camera cleaned professionally, that does not mean you don't need to have a kit like this to get yourself out of a jam. The Digital Survival Kit runs around $27 US. Okay, item number nine, antelope rechargeable batteries. Now, I know what you're thinking, really? I'm recommending re rechargeable AA batteries as a gift? Yes, and the reason is these are some of the best batteries on the market. I use them in wireless mics, cameras, flashes, keyboards, even TV remotes, you name it. There are two models with two different versions, so there's the 2000 milliamp model that are white with blue lettering, and the higher capacity 2550 milliamp batteries that are black with white lettering. Now these batteries come pre-charged and they're perfect add-ons to a flash or some other stocking stuffer. Prices for a package of four batteries and a charger will run around $28 US for the 2000 milliamp version and for the higher capacity 2550 milliamp batteries they'll run around $32 or $33 with a charger. Item number eight, gadget bag or pouch. All photographers and filmmakers never have enough places to store cables, mics, batteries, and the hundreds of accessories we end up with at the bottom of our camera bag. 
There's always something that doesn't have a home and ends up stuck in some wherever spots available. Um, this is where a small cable management pouch can be a lifesaver. Now, the two brands of cable management bags that I like are Think Tank and Temba pouches. The Think Tank cable management system is a version 2.0 and it comes in three sizes, starting with the smallest, a Model 10, a Model 20, and of course the largest being a Model 30. The Temba calls their pouches a cable, a cable Duo, and there are two models, a Duo 8 and a Duo 4. All these pouches have zippered storage sections as well as a clear window so you can see exactly what's in each bag. This is especially useful when you're in a hurry and you're trying to find a battery or an adapter. The prices for the Think Tank pouches start at around $20 and go to $25 and $30. And the Temba start around $23 for the Duo 4 and around $28 for the larger Duo 8 model. Now, while clear camera pouches might seem like a silly gift, believe me, these will definitely come in handy, but one word of caution. Don't leave these laying around the house because you'll quickly see how handy they are when they go missing and they end up full of makeup or parts. Item number seven, X-Rite Color Checker Passport. Oftentimes as photographers, we have to shoot in mixed lighting conditions or even if there's one light source, the quality and the color and the color, and the color temperature is a little odd. The next gift is simple and saves hours in post-processing time and will give your photographer much more control over their images. And this is the Color Checker Passport by x -Rite. It's a small chart of 25 reference colors that are enclosed in a rugged plastic clamshell case. These are used to set accurate exposure of a scene, but also to set proper white balance for your camera. It's especially useful when you're setting custom white balance in unusual lighting conditions. Now, x -Rite offers two models one for still photographers, one for videographers. But there's a small problem. The gift is slightly over the self-imposed $100 price limit. But I felt the gift was so valuable that I decided to include it anyway. The Color Checker Passport 2 runs around $116. Now, the Passport Video is way over the $100 self-imposed price at $145. But I wanted you to be aware of it so in case you, in case you see it listed, you'll know what it is. Item number six, the 42-inch 5-in-1 reflector. Okay, disguising and gift wrapping number six might be a bit of a challenge, but this is something I take with me on 90% of the photo shoots I go on. It's a 40 or 42-inch 5-in-1 reflector. I consider these the Swiss army knife of lighting and can be used in so many ways to improve a lighting situation. But first, let me explain the term 5-in-1. This refers to a collapsible frame with multiple colored covers, say that a few times, that wrap around the frame. The 5-in-1 reflectors really come mainly with translucent, black, white, gold, and silver covers. Now, this gives you a wide range of solutions to help with a lot of different lighting situations. For example, the translucent material can be used to soften a flash or an LED light by shining the light through it and makes it a larger light source. It can also be used to hold overhead of a subject outdoors to soften the shadows from a harsh sunlight. Of course, the white can be used to reflect light back onto the subject um, and if you need just a little bit of fill light. There are dozens of companies that make these reflectors and they come in different shapes and sizes and even a seven in one model. Now, these include two more covers which are normally add a blue and a green for chroma keying out backgrounds for video production. If you're still a photographer, you, I doubt you'd rarely use the 7-in-1, so I recommend going with something like the 42-inch 5-in-1. I should mention that I normally use a 42-inch size because it covers a larger area for couples, or if I'm shooting light through it, then it gives me a much larger effective light source. Now, with so many offshore companies making reflectors, the prices and quality are all over the map. They may be a few dollars more, but I really like the PhotoFlex 5-in-1 42-inch. They hold up and I've had them for years. Now for gift number five, I debated recommending this only because this does not fit my guidelines of having first-hand experience with this product. But after talking with the company as well as a good friend of mine who I trust and raves about the benefits he's seen, I decided to bend the rules and, I'll, and later on I'll work on doing a hands-on review in a future video. So gift number five is the Focal Pro software. 
It's made by Redken Technology and is unique in what it really offers. It's the fully auto lens and camera calibration system that tests and adjusts each lens on your camera. You set up your camera on a tripod, you aim at the lens at a calibrated target, and you connect the software, you connect your camera to the, your computer, and the software analyzes your lens and camera for sharpness. It'll show you the sharpest aperture, um, and it, which is commonly called the sweet spot of the lens. The, the software also performs a focus test and compares all the camera's focus points for accuracy. You can even print out a detailed report that you can use for comparison. Software runs on a Mac and Windows and comes in two flavors, but for $99.95, I recommend the Focal Pro in order to get really all the ability to, and to fully test your camera and your lenses. It's worth mentioning that my friend that praises the Focal system used it to calibrate his $12,400 Nikon 180-400 mm f4 lens, and he saw a distinct difference in the sharpness after calibration. Number four, Ceramonic Shotgun Mic. More photographers are now being asked to shoot video, either for their clients or just for behind the scenes content for social media. The key to capturing watchable video is good audio. It's no secret that the built-in microphones in the cameras or phones are mediocre at best. This is why stocking stuffer number four is an on-camera shotgun microphone. I'm recommending the Ceramonic Cam Mic Plus. There are a number of features that make this a great choice. A, it's a directional mic that sounds very good, especially for the price. B, it'll work with either a DSLR, mirrorless, or smartphone or tablet. And the mic is powered by a single common AA battery. The reason this is important is not all cameras provide power to an external microphone, but the Ceramonic Cam Mic Plus can be used on any camera with an external mic input. Now, Ceramonic offers the mic in two versions, the Cam Mic and the Cam Mic Plus. The basic Cam Mic runs $79 and does not use a battery and does require that the camera power the microphone. The Cam Mic Plus has its own power source, runs $99 and can be used on any camera with a mic input. I should mention I'm recording this video on a Ceramonic wireless UW Mic 9 system and I found their products to be reliable, well-built, and really offer a lot of value for the money over the other systems I own. Number three, Affinity Photo. For number three on Santa's list, I'm gonna switch gears because this gift is not hardware, it's software. I estimate that every image you see has been through some kind of digital darkroom. For example, I only shoot a format called RAW. The purpose of a RAW file is to prevent the camera from making any adjustments to the image. Um, the benefit is the, I now have complete control almost every aspect of the final image. Today's software allows photographer to make a wide range of adjustments during post-processing. And the software used by the majority of artists and photographers who are doing extensive photo manipulation is Adobe Photoshop. But I'm not going to recommend Photoshop. Instead, my suggestion for gift number three is Affinity Photo. Now, I'm a new Affinity Photo user, so I'm still trying to learn the system and all the features, but so far I am very impressed. Affinity allows a photographer to open, edit, and save their work in a standard Photoshop format, so the ability to exchange files or work on previous images are seamless. Also, there's no subscription fee, and for $49 you can use the software as long as you want. Of course, it runs on a Mac or Windows, and for $13 um, you can get an iPad version. If the person who's receiving your gift wants a powerful photo editing system but not sure they want to be locked into a lifetime subscription, this is an excellent tool for any photographer or designer. Number two, Luminar 4. Now for stocking stuffer number two on the list, this is also a software recommendation. This is currently my favorite imaging software and offers so much capability for any photographer regardless if you're a beginner or an advanced pro. Luminar is very different than the previous Affinity Photo in gift number three. And the reason is most images do not require heavy comp compositing, multiple images, or heavy duty design. So if you're shooting portraits, events, newborns, or weddings, then the bulk of the time is we're spent making color corrections, sharpening, cropping, and exporting. So gift number two I highly recommend is Luminar 4 from Skylum Software. Luminar can best be described as Adobe Lightroom on steroids, but it's much easier to use. The interface is modern, 
one click of a mouse and you can look at a different preview of looks. Luminar offers an AI or artificial intelligence scan and portrait enhancement. Saves you so much time for portrait work. And one thing I like about this over other software I've used is it doesn't, do go, doesn't go too far and it doesn't make everyone look like a plastic doll. The other fantastic AI tool is the sky replacement and erase tool that can easily remove unwanted objects or people from an image. Of course, Luminar 4 works on Mac or PC, and for only $89, this is one of the best investments you'll make in taking a person's photography to the next le uh, level. As a bonus, if your photographer does use Lightroom or Photoshop, Luminar automatically shows up as a plug-in and can be accessed from within those applications as well as standalone. Check out the link below and download the trial, and I think you'll agree this software is remarkable. Okay, finally, the number one gift for yourself or a photographer in your life. This recommendation not only is a great gift idea, but it's my favorite photography accessory. The Honol Cube 2 battery charger. Ever since buying this charger, I've wanted to do a product review. Now, this won't be an in-depth product review, but I want to tell you why I love this product so much and why it's my number one pick for almost any photographer. A. It charges two batteries at the same time. This saves me so much time, and if I have a lot of batteries, which I do, then this is a great feature. B, battery status. Now, I have a system when I put a, a used battery in my camera case, I can turn it a certain way so I know if it needs charging or not. But this system's not perfect, and there are many times I find a battery that I have no idea if it needs charging or not. The Honol Cube 2 has a great display that will show me exactly how much charge a battery has left. I can go through a dozen batteries and find out which ones need charging and which ones don't. C. Models available for most popular cameras. The Cube 2 comes in multiple versions, so there's a good chance there's a model that will work with your photographer's camera. Currently, Honol has chargers for Canon, Fuji, Nikon, Sony, Panasonic, and Olympus. Not only is there a Cube 2 charger for most popular cameras, but each charger has a removable plate. By replacing this plate, it allows you to charge a completely different battery from that manufacturer. For example, the Nikon version allows me to charge either the most popular battery, the ENL15, but by dropping in this plate, I can also charge two ENL14 batteries. The Canon version will charge three different batteries, the LPE6, the LPE8, and the LPE17. And if this feature is not enough, it uses a magnetic plate that I now can charge four double A's at the same time. But there's another great charger feature and that is the rear mounted 2.4 amp USB port for charging your iPhone, iPad, or other favorite USB device. Now there is one caveat, you cannot charge camera batteries and the USB device at the same time. And honestly, I've only run into this being a problem once or twice. The Cube 2 will run around $79 and is well worth the price, especially since most camera manufacturer chargers are between $59 and $79, and all you get is a blinking light as an indicator, and you can only charge one battery at a time. As I said up front, this is not a full product review, but hopefully from the features I've mentioned, you can see why this is my favorite camera accessory, and why my recommendation for the number one item to put in Santa's sleigh. Now, if you're still in the Christmas spirit, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe, click the bell, and share or like this video. As always, I appreciate your time and your feedback. I know your time is valuable, and the fact that you're willing to spend a few minutes with me means a lot. So next time, keep creating art, and remember, your technique always trumps technology.